Well, I've been part of Bosch for four years, and I've been able to be part of, both, of all the divisions. I've been in build, programming, and this year I've been part of the business team. And so I've really gotten a full understanding of what goes into engineering and robotics besides just putting pieces of metal together. And it really gives you a sense of respect for what has to be done for all this to work. And being part of all these groups, I've been able to learn all of this and get experience and understanding of what you need to know when you go into a field like this. It's really intimidating knowing that this is our last chance to go to Worlds, but that also motivates us to do our best this year. And I really feel like this robot has been one of the best robots we have ever built in my four years here. And so I am really excited to see if this will be the time we, go, we win a regional and go to Worlds. Um, this is my first year and I've had lots of fun with it and I've met lots of cool people. They're really fun and it's really fun to see all the kids making different robots and how they're able to incorporate different ways of engineering. I mean, I've always liked science and I figured business would help me probably prepare me later in life and I had lots of friends too that motivated me and they told me that it'd be really fun and a, it'd be a really new experience for me so I decided to go for it. The building team does all the building of the robot, the building, the programming, the 3D designing anything that you see publicly. The business team is kind of the behind the scenes team that they get all the money and do all the planning for outreach that we do and raise money so that the building team can do what we do. Um, this is actually my first year and I didn't think I, I don't like like science and engineering but I'm on the business team so like I've kind of gotten to see like a different side of that and so I think that's pretty cool and so like uh, presentation skills and like uh, really big projects and things like that. I'm liking the fact that I am get to practice my speaking skills in front of audiences, especially for the presentations. And I also like being able to make sure I know how to write papers and um, presentations and things correctly. It's because we have a presentation that uh, the business team does, but also um, they're like judges uh, for every different uh, division that like is every different part of the robotics and they can come and talk to anyone so like you need to be able to like know just on the spot like be able to answer a question and it can't really be just like rehearsed so I think that's kind of cool because like it, it would be like if you're in like a workplace or like a potential employer like you need to just know your answers. That we competed in about seven matches. We did really well in each of them. And we had a problem in our last match where the code didn't deploy properly, and but we've got that sorted out. We've redeployed the code and it should be sorted out. We've been doing really well and it's been really fun to be a part of the team and be included as a freshman. I'm learning a lot and I hope to be able to learn a lot and build the team off of this experience. I'm really looking forward to it, being able to go to a local school and I can't wait to come back and learn more about engineering and mentor this team. Well, Mr. Parrish joined robotics the same year I did four years ago in, back in 2012. Um, it was a starting experience for both of us, and I have to say um, I'm really happy that he got to be the mentor that guided me through my four years here. Uh, he is very, he not only knows how to do it, but he knows how to teach us how to do it. So he doesn't just sit there and do the problem or make us learn it only by ourselves. He really guides us and make sure that this is a learning experience for us and we really appreciate that. Not only that, but he's always there for us both inside and outside the build season and he's really, really kind and we wouldn't be able to do this without him.